A little background. Um, I've been I've been working in Kingston, I guess, for a decade now, or almost a decade since 2010. And I first arrived right after this happened in Tivoli. And one of the things that I was most excited to do when I got to Kingston was go to this really important dance hall party called Passa Passa. And Passa Passa happens in, in Tivoli. Um, and so this happened in May and I was there in June. And still in June, it was like pretty militarized and there was a lot of things like kind of smoldering and a lot of things that were still looking pretty terrifying. Um, and I went down there with the, with the guy who ran this Passa Passa party. And so all the footage that you guys are seeing of like dances, those are all from Passa Passa. Um, and all of the surveillance footage uh, that you guys are seeing that's from Kingston uh, is the first time that any of that footage has ever been shown publicly. So that all came from a FOIA request that a New Yorker journalist named Matthias Schwartz and a bunch of lawyers from Yale spent a few years trying to get. And after those few years, they still, the US, which was flying the plane, um, still only released these six hours, none of which contains any of the actual shooting or uh, executions by the police and military of what we think probably is about 150 people over the course of like a day and a half. Um, so yeah, that's uh, both a memorial to this party that was really important to global dance hall culture. The, the videos from that party, you know, pre-Instagram would get put on DVDs like the following morning and then go out on flights to like New York, Toronto, Miami, Tokyo, you know, Paris, London. Um, and that was really like one of the defining points of the culture. And, and as that, it was also kind of a, a sign of like the largest of, of Duddis who ran that neighborhood and, and kind of iconically as like a sort of ironic representation of his power, uh, Wednesday nights, which is when Passa Passa was, was like the safest place that you could be in Kingston because uh, as part of a show of his power, he basically made it known that like no one should be robbed or harassed at this party. And if anybody did any robbing or harassing, there'd be serious consequences. Um, and, and Jamaica still is run, you know, as a sort of conglomeration of fiefdoms, both families, political parties, and then this sort of like garrison, uh, you know, Don situation. Um, if any of this was interesting, the New Yorker article called A Massacre in Jamaica is a really nice set of background for all the different elements um, that are represented here. Thank you to Eliza. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Eliza. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, you want to light? Uh, no, I'm just I'm just gonna do some short logistics. Thank you, everybody, for coming and being.